So hello, and welcome back to my bathroom. So I made this shelf behind me to put spare toilet rolls on. Works great, but I'm still using the windowsill to actually put a toilet roll on. So I really need a toilet roll holder, so that's what we're gonna make. Now the windowsill in the bathroom is oak, so I'm gonna pick out a bit of oak to make this out of. Now that bit of wood is a bit chunky, so I'm just going to set up the bandsaw and rip some strips. Now the edges of this need cleaning up, so I'm just gonna get it put in the vise, grab the hand plane and get one side smoothed. So I've got one side done. Now I could plane the other side, but they wouldn't be parallel to each other. So I'm gonna use the table saw to rip a strip off the other side. So I've got two parallel faces. Right, the sides are nice and smooth and parallel, but the faces need some work, so I'm just gonna give it all the sand down. Right, now I need to cut some parts. I don't like measuring, I like just using the actual thing to work out how long something needs to be. So I have a toilet roll and I have a dowel. Now with these together, I can work out how long I need the toilet roll holder to be and get that marked and cut on the table saw. To cross cut this, I'm gonna set up the mitre gauge on the table saw and make the cut. Now I've got the base, I can work out how long I want the sides to be, get them marked out and get two of those cut. The sides are cut, but I need somewhere for the dowel to sit. So what I'm gonna do is cut a couple more pieces that are just gonna fit inside. So I'm gonna go back to the table saw with the mitre gauge and get those cut. So these little bits slide inside and these are gonna give somewhere for the dowel to seat. So I can work out where I want the dowel to go and mark out the center point of it. Then I can mark out how far down I want to get a hole drilled. Now I've got a force in a bit that's just slightly bigger than the dowel. So I can get that chucked up in the drill and drill through these two little inserts. I need these to be a slot so the dowel can go in. So I'm just gonna draw some lines where I need to cut, then take these over to the bandsaw and cut them out. These cutouts can now all be sanded down then they need to be attached to the side with some PVA glue. So I can get some applied, spread out, put together, and then get some clamps on and leave the whole thing to dry. The glue's dried on these now, so I can get the clamps taken off. Now these little inserts do a couple of different things. Obviously it's much easier to cut a groove out all the way through one piece and then glue it on, but also it gives extra attachment points so I can attach it to the back. 
the back can go into place and now I can get some holes drilled and some screws put in from the rear so there's no visible fixings. So these screws will never be seen, but I'm still marking out the position of them. I just feel it's neater and nice practice to do it. Then to drill the holes, I've got this little countersinking bit. I'm gonna drill that through, get some glue applied, and then I'm get it screwed into place. I had sanded all the wood before cutting it and getting it put together, but now it's together and there's little transitions. It just needs a little bit more sanding. So I'm gonna start with the electric sander and then unfortunately, a bit of hand sanding. I need a way of attaching this to the wall. And what I'm gonna go for is these little brass inserts. They're one of my favorite methods to use. Now, they require a 10 mil hole drilling. Now, unfortunately, I haven't really thought this through and I should have drilled the holes before putting this all together. It would have made life a lot easier. But what I've got is this extension bar for a Faulkner bit. I'll put a link to this down below on the tools I use page so I can get this chucked up in the drill and drill a couple of 10 mil holes. Then, where the points of the holes are, I need to drill all the way through with a 4mm bit. Before I install these inserts, I better apply some finish. But before I apply the finish, I should cut the dowel down to size so I can do it at the same time. So I'm just going to get it lined up, marked out, and then cut using a pull saw. Just going to give this dowel a quick sand down and then I can get some finish applied to both bits and I'm going to go for some boiled linseed oil because I've got a tiny bit left to use up so I'm just going to get that brushed on wipe off any excess and leave it to dry The finish is dry, so now I can get these little inserts tapped into place with a hammer. So that's it all done. Now it's back into the house and I'm going to get it attached to the wall. I think the most complicated bit of the whole build is actually working out where on the wall I want this thing to go. So there we go, pretty much a one year anniversary since I've been in the house and I've finally got a toilet roll holder. So thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.